Farmers uh, Farm Boy Reef here, FBR. Um, today, I'm gonna show you how to test for calcium in your reef tank and using the, the sulfate uh, tests. It's a really good test. Um, so you need your calcium uh, to be 425, 450 in your reef tank, uh, the parts per million. Um, so your corals can uh, absorb the calcium to grow and get better uh, coral growth. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to run this the simplest way I can. Um, I find a lot of showing tests on YouTube is so like they don't show enough to figure things out. So I'm going to show you the simplest way I know how. All right, guys. So let's go do this live. So I'm going to get some uh, tank water. So we're going to test right on my reef tank. See what my I haven't checked today. So I got some uh, reef tank water here. So what we're going to do is it comes with uh, a syringe. And then you're going to fill your syringe to two milliliters of uh, your tank water. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to do that. Just tap it a bit, get the air bubbles out. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit out till it's at the two milliliter mark. Oh, took a little too much. Two milliliters. So there we go. So it's at the two milliliter mark. So now we're going to fill up our vial with the two milliliters of tank water. All right. So that's done. We're going to move on to the, put that right in the box so we don't lose it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a spoonful of the CA1. So you're going to grab your spoon here. You're going to, and then you're going to level that right off. So now I got your spoonful of your CA1 and add that to your, uh, your test vial that you just took of your tank water, add that. So you take your spoon, I usually put it right back in the box again put the cover on this so we don't spill it. We want to do a bunch more tests and not have to go buy another one. All right, and then, uh, so we don't we don't mix this yet. We're gonna wait. So we're gonna grab our, our CA2. Just get a little straight. And we're gonna put eight drops of this in here. Don't mix that yet. So we're gonna count out eight drops, okay guys? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight drops, guys. Eight drops of the CA2 in the water solution. Put that back in the box. So now we're gonna mix this for 10 seconds. So good, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so it's all mixed. You see how it's all uh, pink there? That's good, so that's what you're looking for. You want your pink. So the next thing you're gonna do, I'm just gonna move my, uh, my tank water out of the way, so it's not there. So you're gonna take your uh, CA2 out of the box here. Put the cover to the side. So you're gonna take your syringe again, and you're gonna fill it. I don't know if you can see there. You're gonna fill it to the one mil mark, all right, of this solution. So you put it in here. I just give it a couple shots, get the air bubbles out of it. So I fill it past, and I'm gonna take the plunger that's here, and I'm gonna fill it right push it right to the one mil mark. So now it's, it's full, right to the one mil mark. We're gonna put this aside so we don't spill it. So now, we're slowly gonna put drops into here until it turns uh, blue, all right? So we're gonna drop a couple in there. One, two, three. Swirl that around a little bit. Now we're looking for uh, like a really clear blue here. All right, drop a couple more. Looking for a clear blue, guys. Keep stirring it until it hits a clear blue. So I can tell already by looking on my plunger, my tank is almost in the, should be almost perfect of calcium. Two more drops, it's getting close. It's starting to turn a little bit, but we're looking for a clear blue. Give it a few more swirls. It's a little foggy still. Two more drops. All right, she's a clear blue now. All right, so what we do now is we're gonna look on our syringe and see what it's at. So my, my calcium's pretty good, it's pretty high. So it's like a 0 0.13 to four. All right, so I'm gonna go look on my uh, chart. It comes with a calcium. This is a chart of calcium. It has all the numbers on the syringe on the left-hand side, and then it has all the parts per million on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna take what I got here. Just give me a second, I'm gonna look. So I got 0.08 on my syringe. So if I take here and go look, 
0.08, it's at 460. So I'm about 10 parts per million higher than they say, but 10 points per million, that's not too bad, that's all right. I'm pretty happy with that. At least I know my calcium level isn't low and my, and my uh, corals aren't starving for calcium. So that's the easiest way is just to show you guys how easy this test is. Just a couple of vials and a couple different little solutions is good to go. And that's it, just mix them. Just follow, just follow right here if you see. It has all the instructions of what to do. But I hope just showing you guys like drop by drop and just close up, close up how it's going. That's what I wish I would have had when someone was uh, showing me how to do it. So I hope that helps you guys. That's the calcium from sulfate uh, test kit. And uh, I hope this helps you guys. So I hope you liked this episode. You know, please leave a comment, uh, hit the subscribe button. You know, you guys want to ask me any questions, hit me up. I'll help you guys out. All right, guys, thanks for watching uh, Farm Boy Reef.